Hey, what's up? I uh, just want to talk real quick on a fun subject. I like going over uh, funky laws, and um, one of the funky laws that I think makes me laugh, especially because I like wearing a lot of costumes and masks and things like that, is a Florida statute um, that was passed actually in the early 50s. Um, it's a Section 876.12, um, and it goes up to um, 0.15. And that basically defines um, the criminality of wearing a mask or a hood if you're on a public property or if you're on the property of another or something like that. And uh, basically what it kind of just says is, uh, you know, that if you are wearing a, uh, a hood or something that covers your face, um, that's you know concealing your identity. Uh, that's unlawful if you're on a public way or something like that. And when it was first passed, is you know 1950s, and so you can kind of imagine they were trying to uh, do something to counter the Klan uh, by making it illegal to wear masks, masks and hoods and things like that. Um, obviously, that's a bit unconstitutional because you're depriving people of being able to do completely legitimate activity, non-criminal things. Um, you know, just wearing costumes or things like that, you know, if Halloween came around, then everybody would go to jail. <laughs> um, and so this was originally um, uh, made unconstitutional back um, with a case called, just want to make sure it's right, uh, Nickel v. State. And that was uh, back, well, actually, I, I, it wasn't uh, Nickel v. State, it was Robinson v. State, but it was a mention, I'm reading the case, a Nickel v. State, um, that they held the statute was overbroad, obviously, because, you know, making pretty much non-criminal things criminal just because, you know, you want to wear a mask or even sunglasses, you know, that could be concealing your identity, um, you know, that they uh, ruled that it was unconstitutional. And so what happened was, is uh, the legislature in 1981, they added on a Section 876.155, um, which basically makes this whole mask wearing thing. Um, only applicable if, um, you know, you do one of a couple things, you know, you have to have the intent to deprive any person or class of persons um, of the equal protection of the laws of the land, or like, you have to have the intent to use a force or threat of force. It's basically trying to say, like, if you're going to wear a mask and go, uh, you know, do a robbery or something like that, or try to intimidate or scare somebody, uh, then you might get in trouble and get, you know, a, another misdemeanor, which the biggest issue is that is uh, getting an existing crime usually um, enhanced, your penalties enhanced um, for sentencing. So that's usually the main thing. It's like, oh, someone had armed robbery and they also had a mask, so we're going to give them an extra year because they, you know, now have another misdemeanor. Um, is it still... I think a little broad. I, I, I would say so. I'd say that the, the applicability section that was added on to try to cure the unconstitutional ruling uh, with Robinson v. State, which was made in 1980, uh, I, you know, it's there, there's some things that are kind of like on the edge where it says, you know, it, with 876.1553, it says with the intent to intimidate, threaten, abuse, or harass any other person. It's like, you know, where, when it goes into intent, you know, that gets kind of murky to begin with. Uh, and especially when you say, like, deprive anybody of any type of right, it, you know, it, it, it starts to get loosey-goosey because it seems like, you know, if you're walking on a street and someone says, oh, I want to walk where you're walking type of thing, you know, it can get very nitpicky. But nonetheless, it's not a crime to just be out and, uh, and wearing a mask. You have to read the rest of the Florida statutes, uh, which you can, which uh, is 876.155, to see that it's not, oh, if I wear a mask outside and it's Halloween, I'm going to go to jail or something like that. It's there, There's other things that have to be looked at. Uh, so that's just a, like a fun little note, you know, that I was researching with school stuff. And, uh, you know, I, any, of those, any of those laws where it's like criminal anarchy or treason and other things that are just, you know, funky old time laws are ridiculous. And I'd say, you know, vote to overturn those whenever you can, because, <laughs> you know, they, they just kind of are there often for a well-intended purpose, but really it ends up just being overbroad. So that was just a fun little thought and uh, hope that you're doing well and I'll do some more updates uh, about different funky laws and things like that.